And now for something completely different. Wild Side with uh, Joe. Now, I don't have your Wild Side intro. Oh. <laughs> I it? want Dr. Joe of the Jungle oh. to come back. <laughs> 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 I love it. Okay, we all know how that goes. <laughs> <laughs> so, Joanne, um, this is a topic that we did some time ago, but you wanted to revisit it, homosexuality in animals. I didn't think that existed. Oh, yeah, so many people don't think it exists, but it does, big time. Why? How? Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> who's, been, who's been watching? <laughs> oh, why? You know, as a scientist, we're always trying to explain why, but we don't know why. I think you scientists but... <laughs> are a bit kinky. It's the white coats. Well, no, <laughs> like, you know, science, like, to, go, to be, to put on this controversial hat, scientists and people who are sort of more of the... Conservative Sorry. types. Conservative types, yeah. <laughs> you know, they, they tend to say, well, what's the purpose of it? You know, mm. if it's not for procreation, why have, why have sex? Yeah, yeah. You know, so that, that's why it's always been sort of on the controversial side of, mm. you know, could animals be homosexual? Should they be? No, of course not. They've always said no. But they came up with all these reasons why animals um, may be homosexual. Yep. And it might be interesting to see if, you know, if you think these could still be the case. Okay. So perhaps, perhaps animals are homosexual, including humans, because they're not able to identify the other sex. <laughs> what? <laughs> really? Yeah, okay. what, what, I, there aren't many animals that are totally blind their entire lives, I would have thought. Or ha- yeah. don't, don't have scent glands or okay, something. Okay, so let's rule that one out. Okay. <laughs> Perhaps there's a disease process or some mutilation of the genitals has occurred. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we'd had a camera then. <laughs> you should have seen the doctor's face. <laughs> and Farmer Dave. <laughs> yeah, Farmer Dave, maybe we should bring you in at this stage to talk about this. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love the next one, which says a shortage of the opposite sex. Yeah. <laughs> so, so uh, for convenience, they're doing it for convenience. Yeah. 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 And, and in some cases, that could be the case. Okay. Well, bonobos. When we saw the bonobos at um, San Diego Zoo, they they're prolific. They'll just they'll do anything. Yeah, a tree With anyone. A tree stump. <laughs> well, I mean, look, I I um, only have uh, bitches in my my dog pack. Every now and again, I'll have um, a team of dogs, but uh, usually it's just bitches, just for ease. And they go for it, hammer and tongs. Like this morning when I left, like all three of them were into each other, and I'm like, sweethearts, why 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 are you doing this? <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, look, I think these are all valid points of view, but being a homosexual animal myself, uh, I know full well that um, it's not a choice that's that's made, it is just something that has occurred, and does it really matter why? It just is. Yeah, and uh, yeah. let's go with it. And look, if my if my dogs want to go hammer and tongs amongst themselves, I'm absolutely fine with it. Just don't be doing it when we're meant to be moving some sheep. <laughs> Yes. But isn't isn't it isn't this sort of some kind of dominance thing? Well, it could be. That's one theory yeah. again that there's a dominance thing. One just trying to you know get on top of the other quite yeah, literally. Yeah. But you know there could all be benefits to it. So say you've got you know this happens in the dolphin world. You know males will get together, practice on each other, <laughs> <laughs> and then they find a female. Okay. But what happens with dolphins is that the males stay bonded throughout life, so that the interaction with the female is very short and sweet and over. And that's the last they see of one another, male feeling. But, but the males stay bonded and have a close relationship. It's their equivalent of going down to the pub with the boys, <laughs> right? <laughs> okay. And, you know, having, having some, say, males bonded <laughs> together who may then protect the young females can be very, you know, that's beneficial. Yeah. yeah. So okay. there, there may be a lot of benefits to homosexuality in the pet world. Pet I, know and heaps, world. I know heaps of benefits just quietly, but I think, um, <laughs> I think, I think that, that that is a huge, a huge driver in the, the reason that we have it um, as part of our genetic makeup of so many, I mean, what, 1,500 species we've identified um, have yep. a high prevalence of homosexuality. But there is, uh, yeah, I think the amount of benefits are phenomenal. And we really are the only species I know of, um, of those 1,500s, that look down on it and try and stop it. Whereas, I was going to say, um, yeah, that have a problem with it. Yeah. yeah. The rest of them, just as I say, my three girls. And if you, <laughs> if you go to Wikipedia, source of all knowledge, and, um, <laughs> and look up list of animals displaying homosexual behavior, Behavior, it sort of goes through those 1,500 species that have displayed it. One by one. And it's quite incredible. So how many hours did it take you to go through that? <laughs> <laughs> well, all I can say is Matisse was very disappointed that Jess wasn't at all interested in playing with him. Yeah, because yeah. she knows she's got her two girlfriends back home, yeah? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. Mm. Not so, that kind of play. 
<laughs> he's just wanted to, you know, play chasey. So, so have we got any more on, on homosexuality in animals? Well, that's, that pretty well covers well, it, doesn't it? pretty it? well covers it because we don't know enough. You know, we don't know yet. We'll, okay. we'll find out in time. Absolutely. all good scientists will. Well, Dave, but just to say to people, don't be alarmed by the whole yeah. process. Be alert, see not alarmed. Dogs, see your cats. Yes. Well, yeah, I mean, I had a, um, a private uh, a couple of days ago and um, she'd driven all the way from um, west of Canberra and that was her concern, was her dog was showing all these lesbian tendencies and uh, Matilda became the butt of her affections <laughs> and um, and really our entire session was about getting her okay with the idea yeah, yeah. that it is just something that dogs do and so of course we just had to allow her to deal with that herself and then of course move on and, and not stop the behaviour but uh, have distractions because right. if she if, if this dog went up to another female dog and started doing that who didn't like it well then you've got to have a call off and it's kind of like us humans I mean if you have someone giving you the eye and taking it a bit further and you've already said no I'm not really keen well then you'd be like getting a bit antsy too so it can create problems in the the dog world (laughs) it it does happen in the dog world that you do need to make sure that your dog does have a good call off and a good good come when called so when you're at the dog park and it is being affectionate towards another dog regardless of the sex that you have a good way of getting it out of a situation that could get ugly so we should just uh clarify uh having a private um i assume that's a private training lesson yes okay i was just wondering what that was sorry about that i was worried about that one we didn't have videos up we weren't making doggy porn, no. <laughs> oh, too much fun. She too was much she fun. was totally devastated though. She was oh, yeah. teary about what was going on. She just yeah. didn't get it. Mm. Oh my you from Canberra, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> Come on.